In this video I'm showing how to enable configuration change logging on a Cisco switch. If you've ever needed to view the recent configuration changes made by any user on a Cisco switch, there's a command to do just that. However, it's not enabled in the default config, so there are a few quick commands we have to run to set it up. So I'm going to jump right into it and show how to do that now. The model of switch I'll be using for this example is a Cisco Catalyst 3850, and I've confirmed that these exact same commands work on newer switches such as the 9300, as well as older switches such as the 3750X and 2960. The command to view recent configuration changes on the switch is show archive log config all. And you can see here by default we get this output that config logger is disabled. To enable this feature just jump into global config mode, type the command archive, then run log config, type logging enable, and finally hide keys, which prevents any kind of keys from being retained in the log. Alright, so now if I jump out of config mode, I can run the show archive log config all command again. And you can see now we actually have a few results here, starting with when logging enable was turned on. So just to demonstrate how this works, I'm going to open up a new SSH session to the switch. And I'm going to sign in with a different user named DonkeyBrain. And we're just going to jump into global config mode here. And we'll pick a random interface. And I'm just going to run some random commands on it. We'll give it a description. We'll set it as an access port. Configure a VLAN. And turn on spanning tree port fast. And finally, we'll shut it. Alright, so now when I jump back to the other window, and I run the show archive log config all command again, we see that we have a log now of every config change that was made on the switch, along with the user that made it. Now there are a few caveats with this feature. One is that by default, only 100 lines of config are logged. You can up this to 1000, but that's the limit. And also these logs do not persist through a reboot. And the options to change that are not great. There is an option for persistent logging, but the problem with that is that the entire startup config also gets written to that log, which can pretty easily overwrite a thousand lines, so it makes it kind of useless. If you do need a way to log configuration changes long term, the best way is to probably set up a syslog server. Then you can configure the change logging setting to send these notifications to syslog, as well as log them locally on the switch. To do that, you just go to global config mode, go to archive again, back into log config, and run the command notify syslog. This will make it so that any configuration change that is made on the switch is also sent to the syslog server that you have defined in the logging host command. And just to show what that looks like here, I'm going to open up my evaluation install of the SolarWinds syslog server. Now if I pull my donkey brain terminal over here again, you can see that when I change the description of this interface, shut it, or make any config change really, a log gets shipped to the syslog server, as well as shown in the log that is stored locally on the switch. Alright, so that's it for this video. Hit like if this helped you out. And thanks for watching.